Sports Power to Truth with me on Kopotse JJ Tavan. We're coming to you live from Hyde Park here in Johannesburg. Tonight, we focus on Tswani and the, the Dr. Nasipi Moya, the newly minted mayor of Tswani, is my guest here tonight. And uh, we'll be having a good conversation with her. Uh, it's a congratulatory interview as per tradition here on Power to Truth coming up just now. But before I want to talk about two quick things. That song saying so, Pelela Pina. So, Pelela Pina, you would remember if you are not living under a rock that in October last year, okay, October last year, which is, means a year ago, right, kids were present in Johannesburg, in Soweto. And the politicians were running like ambulances. You know, there was somebody who posted something that, hey, these politicians are good at running, but when they say, hey, they run there. You know, when they say, no, 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 a, a kid here yeah, was stabbed in a school, they, ru they rush there. They, they are very good at running somewhere where there's a problem, but not very good at follow up. October last year, was still waiting for a report that says what killed those children. Forget about the ones that are happening now, 20 kids here been rushed to hospital, six kids dying in the lady. You know, forget about that for now. Just focus on the fact that a year ago, with all the sophisticated, all the laboratories, all the, the DNA testing capacity and so on, this government can't tell us what killed the children uh, over a year now. And since they say, they are running, if, when a kid bleeds at the school, they run there. We, we, must, we must commend them wait, and pat them in the back that they are, very, they are a very responsive government that runs when there's a crisis, a government that behaves like an ambulance. They rush, they, 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 they are very good. They must, they must have a, a budget of just running somewhere when there's a crisis. Because how do you explain that a year later, <laughs> They still don't know what killed the children. Okay, now, yeah, now let's go fast forward to last week. I had a minister of uh, basic education here, and I say, hey, minister, your children are dying. I, no, 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 please talk, talk to Muzo Lady. It's a health issue. It's, I don't want to step on his toes. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> so please, don't, please don't blame me. You know, I may be minister of education, but please don't blame me. Talk to, I don't want to offend Mutualid. And then Mutualid, they come and say, hey, there must, be, there must be a national security issue here, man. Wait, maybe there's a chemical that's being released deliberately. Cons After a year, we have to listen to conspiracy theories. When our children are dying, right, assumably from things they buy at tax shops, a superbly of people who are not even legal in the country. <laughs> it's a complete comedy of errors this country has become. And I, you know, I wish it was an isolated thing, you know, where we, we were all shocked. Oh, no, 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 they don't know what happened. You know, oh, oh, oh shame, you know. You ask an MEC here, you ask a minister there, they are all ignorant. At least most of the ventured an answer. No, no, there must be a chemical warfare. I mean, that's really what he meant. And we must believe that. And I'll tell you what the issue is. The issue is that our leaders are so detached that it has become normal to be detached. It's, it's, not, it's not a surprise. They are very detached. I can tell you now without a fear of contradiction. If one of those six children, there was a relative of one of these MPs or MECs or ministers, we would know now who killed, what killed those kids. Now we would know, we would have known a year ago. Hey, but no, 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 it's, not, it's just a number. Oh, it's six children, wait. Let's run there, let's go to the funeral and talk there. Nice platitudes. But they fail to prevent the funerals. But go funeral, give one hour, give VIP, I go front row. But oh, but but over the family stuff that is called comfort. If your kids died in that 
poison spree, we would know. Ah, but it's the same thing of this politicians. If you ask a politician straight, a straight question, uh, tell me, does your family go to a bar? I can talk of a lapidi before I eat. I can talk of a lapidi before Because why don't they just make a simple decision that says, if you are a minister, an MEC, a DG, you shall go to a public hospital for which you are responsible to make it work. Ah, no, 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 no. Ah, we'll, we'll, see. We'll, have, we'll have inspectors will come. Maybe they will come and, 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 then, and then you get an extreme one this side. Go get in the kids. But no, but I have a hand. Just lock the things and they must go. So the kids will lose you and move on. And it, 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 you wonder, okay, the kids will now suddenly not buy snacks. We don't know what they it, it killed them, but please can we just make a scapegoat quickly of the foreigners? Close the things, let them go, mass deportation. It's a bloody shame, I tell you. But I can promise you now, I, they can swear and insult me, if it was one of their children, we would know now who killed the people. And the mayor is coming here to talk, talk to me. I want to know who killed, what killed the Hamas crash. The previous mayor was here saying this or that. At, at 35 people die in Hamas crash. They still don't know what killed them. But how are you eating? <laughs> no, it's not conclusive. We all know what about Menoa or Tawako Hamas crash. I'm brown because of the dirty water. But now when somebody has died, but I are eating. It can't possibly be. Three years ago, a report was issued by the CSIR saying the water in Hamas Kral is not fit for human consumption. What other answer do you want? Ah, no, 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 no. It's not the case. If we come here and admit, but don't resue, we can't. It's not isolated. We have, we have a tone deaf government. So I was sitting in the position, up and down, musical chairs. I was sitting in the Bo, 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 eh, man, eh, mayor of Johannesburg, bo dada. Hoka chen chan di position, hey, they will be in council the whole day. Maro hori, nari batu wako wa amaska, wako le ile ki, ah, riti man, it's got to change ya. I wanted, to, I don't have enough time, but I don't even talk about the free state. <laughs> Wait, see, I can see now, because, you know, there's a honeymoon period and so on. We, we, the, the same thing, history is repeating itself. The free state is like a forgotten province somewhere in the middle of nowhere. So we no longer talk about it and so on. We're not shocked by the potholes in Mangaung, which used to be called the flower city or whatever, Bloomfontein. But the potholes are the Gago Shoka. The Kurva Northwest. Who has the biggest pothole? But now, they are now starting to kill each other now. An engineer. Uh, apparently one of the best engineers he was ever worked there, Luzuko Ntabezo, uh, um, died after pointing out corruption in the city of Mangawu. And what's shocking is that apparently two hours before he died, the mayor told officials that, hey man, this fellow has written to me and saying that uh, he's fearing for his life, and he may be assassinated. I can't deal with stuff that don't, don't have evidence. Wait. <laughs> this is a mayor in a formal meeting. I will let the officials go, hey, wait in Tato, are, 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 are his life is threatened. You must be dreaming. Wait. Where's the evidence? Now, if you, are, you receive, you know, death threats, and you must, pro apparently you must produce evidence. Or, Kimanga Hurumezini death threat, according to this mayor, who is, is joining the list of own deaf leaders. Now, people who are pointing out corruption are dying. And then you'll hear people say, yeah, no, 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 people, you must, uh, uh, people must phone the hotline. Uh, if they see corruption, they must be, uh, uh, you know, what do you call it, whistleblowers. Oh, you whistleblow so that you can die. This is, that's what they're saying. Blow the whistle, how's the blood go? And then the Rotosala Hosnali evidence, Yahoo Vulele King. The Hawkar Vulela, your life is under threat. And now somebody comments and says, hey, and they are not deputy mayor. Yeah, they are not the bodyguards. They are ten. But now, why are you eating? They have protection by Zola Skolo. 
Bayi tuwele skolo. Maro wena ese citizen ho ka tlafela wa. Hey, I'm being threatened. But or not ka tse eno man. Now, can you please can please somebody tell me if you are MMC of environment, who wants to kill you? MMC environment. If you are not political, say it. But I want to get MMC environment. Demon. Hey, how can talk of all? Hey, Gaba Matata. Crisis. Hey, the the city can be into crisis. But people who are making sure that they stop the theft, I will never, will never be protected. The minister of the previous minister of justice. Uh, even said, no, since the was still writing the law, man. Hey, well, hey, there's a person here now who says, I'm threatened now. I've lost my job. I've had to run. I'm in a, 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 a so-called, uh, what do you call it, safe house. And then the, the police leak the where the safe house is. <laughs> it's a chaos, man. You understand? It's chaos. And we have accepted it. We, we think, I oh, know this guy who harassed Why would I like to say, who are the Because we have, we have accepted our lot of having a tone deaf government all around. We have accepted it. That nothing is no longer, we, we, we are no longer outraged by anything. We are no longer outraged by anything. If we are not outraged, by children dying a year ago and nobody knowing what it is, nothing will ever outrage us. If people die by, because of dirty water as a result of corruption <laughs> of the state, but they don't fix up until the storage works. What's actually there? What if somebody calls Saudi? And if nobody now wants to admit who hired him, half is the people die. That's why he's not arrested by anybody. However, no, there's a link between you chowing the money of the, 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 the sewerage works and people dying. But I, no, 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 it's not the case. He was still waiting for, I don't know from a report from which heaven. And it's your fault, South Africa. Because when you had the chance to vote these people out, if all, all you did was to vote them back in. So it's our fault. When our children are dying in tax shops, when our children are dying from dirty water, or they're drowning in toilets, it's your fault, South Africa. And it's high time that you understand that you get the government that you deserve.